Uh, my name's Porter Hall from hallhooks.com. I've uh, been fishing for big bass with shiners and other live bait for uh, more than 30 years. And uh, I've had people ask me, really, what's the best way to rig shiners on a hook? There's a lot of confusion about how to best do it. And the most basic thing is to hook them in the front end. In particular, I mean, obviously, if you're moving the bait, trolling, drifting it gives a more natural presentation it's really the only way to do it in, in that case uh, anyway I um, I make my own weedless hook that uh, has a stronger gauge a heavier gauge weed guard than what the factory hooks are it really enables your enables you to fish up in the plants and in the brush uh, whereas the others available on the market just don't have a strong enough weed guard they will not do it so this is real firm it, at first it kind of takes you back thinking that it's too firm to even hook a fish but it doesn't seem to interfere with that it just allows you to fish in the plants better which is where I over the years have had my best success in Florida especially in catching big bass so anyway I'm gonna put one on and just demonstrate kind of where I hooked the uh, bait drag some through these plants, try to show how how they are and how the weed guard will enable you to fish through these plants. Especially under certain conditions when it's real sunny, the fish don't seem to want to venture away from that. They'll get right up in this dense uh, plant material, and you just have to go in there where they are to fish for them successfully. So uh, I think it really opens up your opportunities for catching big fish just because you can actually go and probe the habitat better than you otherwise could with live bait. So, anyway. That, that's basically it. That's one of many ways you can fish with them is to throw them along the float.